And here come Chums for semi-final number one. They are very good mates on the circuit. Huge amounts of respect between the pair, but they're up against each other. It's Mike Schlosser from the Netherlands. So perfect up against Chris Schaff, who is on a rich gain of form himself. Well, here we go for semi-final number one. Um, Nikki Hunt, as always, with me for her expert analysis of the match. But look, first up, let's just say this is two great archers going up against each other. Schlosser is world number one, Chris Schaff, world number five. They really are two amazing archers. Mr. Perfect has been really nothing but that this year with final four appearances, all three of the World Cups, and has not been beaten in qualification this year. Yeah, I mean, these are the two form athletes, I would say, at the moment. Schaff took a bronze in Guatemala, but it will be Mr. Perfect, Mikey Schlusser, to get the semi-final underway. Not the perfect start, was it? Both with there long holds, though, on that first arrow. Uh, do you think the wind's picked up? No, I think just pressure. You know, there is a lot of pressure. People underestimate it here. Already oh, made the correction. I lost a bit. Nines are the story of the day, really. We haven't seen so many of them. And that is an eight. I think that's the first eight we've seen on Compound Saturday. And if you look down the range, those feather flags, as you call them, are really starting to flutter now. Yeah, I mean, we can see a bit of movement in them, but I don't think it's enough to cause a compound to shoot an eight at, at this time. I just think, you know, the pressure involved in this is that high. It just doesn't seem to be enough wind for me. Like, it moved a little bit. Maybe that's enough to make him think about his, his aiming too much and aim off. I think last weekend at the um, Olympic qualifying spots, the flags were right behind the targets. Yeah. And that was really in the archers' um, eyes, particularly those recurvers, because they see that peripheral vision. They yeah. can see everything. But these guys, all you can see at full draw of the compound is the target. You're so it's not, a, it's not a distraction, I get that. But what we also saw last weekend was the fact that the wind varied down the range, especially for the recovers, I get that, and the arrows fly faster in, in compound, of course. But it, it, that still could be niggling on the mind. You're not convinced, are I'm you? Not, I'm not convinced. <laughs> so basically, what you said there, then, is Chris Schaff's made a mistake. Yeah, I think so. I think, do you know what? I think he really wants to win. I think he wants to make his mark. He wants to beat Mr. Mm. Perfect, and there's a lot of pressure on that. Yeah. Uh, especially seeing as they are, they are genuinely very, very good friends, these two. Absolutely, yeah. Well, having shot a nine to start with, Mike Schlosser may have been disappointed, but he leads. Time for end number two. Both dialed in now, aren't they? Well, I was going to say he wasn't happy with that. He was like, "Oh, okay." Then, like, he didn't think it was going to go there. So I'm not sure his sight is still set perfectly. Do you know what? I read something different from that. Mm. I read, well, I don't oh. understand how I shot the eight before. Mm. You know these guys better than me, though. Chris Schaff has thrown in the lowest single arrow score yep. of the day, but <laughs> finishes <laughs> end number two with a brilliant group in the ten. Oh, perfect for this end as well. So 59 
placed 58. Um, I think one of the, the key things to talk about here is uh, that the fact that you've already mentioned that uh, Schlosser has uh, appeared in all of the uh, final fours uh, in the three stages, but also that he is um, he's won the world championships in all disciplines, indoor, outdoor, and field. Uh, so in terms of what more he can do, um, there isn't a whole lot. <laughs> I started to write down some of his, uh, <laughs> his medals, and I, in the end I had to stop when I got to Belek world champion in 2013 has because it just, just time and time again this, this man is on the podium. Has he won the World Games? Because like, that's probably for, for compound, that's perhaps yeah. your, your next Olympics. But European Games winner yeah. in 2019 in Minsk. Yeah. There's a World Games as well, isn't it? It's multi-sport. Uh, well, yeah, it's no satisfying well. you, Nicky. Come on. There's no satisfying <laughs> I want everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey Schlosser, the Mr. Perfect, Sir Perfect. Up against Chris Schaff. Schaff also a multiple winner. Yep. And worth noting with that 10 to start off and number three, Chris Schaff was a finals winner in Samson in 2018. In Turkey. <laughs> Just are not happy with that for some reason, making an adjustment and this is how much these guys strive for perfection. That even in the ten they'll be looking to make tiny adjustments. Two X's in fact for Schaff. Well, they got rid of the nerves by the looks of things, the pair of them. Second perfect score for Chris Schaff. Second perfect score for Mikey Schlosser. Still just one point between them. Well, we've been saying on Compound Saturday, it's all about the nines and reducing the number of those. In this case, it's a slightly different story because Schlosser started with a nine. And the second arrow from Chris Schaff was an eight. And since then, a pair of them haven't missed the centre of the target. Yeah, what's well interesting on the way here, Chris Schaff, uh, he, was, he cleaned two of his matches. And then the match before this, he sh shot clean for four ends. And then in the, in the final end, he shot 10-9-9, which forced that shoot off that we saw. Uh, and he won the shoot off on a, on a measured 10. So interesting, like just kind of shot two in the same end. Yeah. It's interesting when that it's when that pressure comes on, isn't it? That when you're f when you're forced into a situation where you need the ten, even having shot, you know, all but one in the ten ring, suddenly that one arrow becomes super high pressure. Chris Schaff trailing, we shoot first in end number four. Just incredible. One straight arrow from each archer is the difference here. And when I say straight, I really <laughs> mean that in a complimentary way because they're still very close to the center of the target. It's another perfect for Chris Schaff. 118. Is he going to live to regret that eight? And three perfects for Sir Perfect. And 119 for him. Uh, we know that uh, Schaff has actually qualified for the finals 
along with uh, Pagnoni Gontier and uh, the rising teenage, teenage star from Denmark, Matthias Fullerton. So, no, Mr. Perfect on that list of confirmed qualifiers. Yeah, he because he won his stage one, so he's a confirmed. Uh, sorry, stage two, he's a confirmed qualifier. He he made the gold match in the first, but lost it to Braden Gallantine. So, they those two make up in the other spots. And so Schaff, Pagnoni, Gontier, and Fullerton locked in as the ranking qualifiers. But if Schlosser were to go on and win this competition having won two stages, that does release another ranking place. That's right, yes, yeah, so that's going to change things. So there you go. Still a lot to play for here. Perhaps even if you're not in the semi-finals and in the final four. In number five. Yep. Schaff again in the ten. Now that eight is starting to stand out on the target face. Keeping the pressure on. And he takes a tiny error here from Mike Schlosser. And there it is. Things have just squared up. We are down to one arrow each to settle this. In the 10. Now the pressure switches over to Mike Schlosser. He needs a 10 to stay in the match and force a shoot off. He gets the 10. This match deserves this, I think. It's been absolutely stunning. Two nines from Schlosser, a single eight in the first end from Chris Schaff, and we end up at 148 apiece between these two. Nicky, he absolutely deserves to go to a one hour shoot off, and I know how much you dislike <laughs> them, but they're really exciting. <laughs> Love a shoot off, yeah. I think all the quarterfinals, apart from Mr. Perfect, went to a shoot off. You know, the standard is just that high. Um, so yeah, what, what a great match we're going to have. I'd yeah, love a shoot off. One arrow each, closest to the middle. Nail biter. Yeah, no, but and an, an a just way to finish this match between two form archers who are up against each other as mates, and really perhaps the easiest way for them to settle uh, what is. A little bit more than a friendly rivalry, let's face it. A pair of them going to the World Cup final, so this is about bragging rights. Well, number five, Chris Schaff looking on. They're cleaning the target faces, so basically they are putting new faces up. So if we go to a measure, there's no other holes in there. Much loss of trying to visualize. Nikki, at this stage, what's going through your mind? Well, I think the momentum's with Chris Schaff. You know, Schwasser had the chance to win it, and he just lost it on that last end. So I think Mike's just trying to calm himself down, get him back into the groove where he normally is. I think uh, this could be a tight one. Oh, I think you may well be right. This is going to be super tight. Mikey Schlosser versus Chris Schaff. The heartbeat sound in the stadium goes off just to add to the tension. One arrow for a place in the final. Right, in the 10, but high. Big wide 10, masses of room. Chris Schaff, that is closer for me. It is a 10-10 shoot off, but Chris Schaff is closer to the spider right in the center of the target. Nikki, you were right. The momentum changed at exactly the right moment for the American. Yeah, I think that really helped him. Maybe Mike Schlosser was just going for the effect that he wanted each of the colors from this year's World Cup stages. He's got his gold, he's got his silver. Now he's going to go for his bronze. So all of a sudden, you've gone from harsh taskmaster, demanding more from Mike Schlosser, and now you're being generous and saying, well, it's deliberate. He just wants a bronze medal having got gold and silver.